All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? I literally just told y'all yesterday. What did I tell y'all yesterday? I said, look. The only thing that you got to respect about Drake, if you don't respect his raps, if you don't respect his lyrics, you got to respect how he keeps it all the way hip hop all the time. Say what you want about the boy from the six. He keeps it hip hop. When it's time to do hip hop things, Drake responds. And what have we learned about Drake over the years? He don't like when well-established artists play with his pen. He don't like that. That's why he gave Meek bars two times. Pusha T just got it in a vicious way. Hell, I'm going to even say Kanye West got it in a vicious way via his employee, Pusha T. He had to get it by default. So what are we talking about here? If you don't know, now you know. Drake just sent out a scathing diss record to Pusha T. And when I call it scathing, you got to understand the nuances of it. Hell, I've only played the thing two times. I'm going back and forth reading lines like, damn, that was personal. Damn. Oh, he put that shit together like that. So what I want to do here, and, and, and for those who don't know where this stems from, Pusha T dropped his new project today. So meaning Drake disrespected him on the day his album dropped, meaning Pusha T's whole weekend now is going to be about Drake. Do you understand how disrespectful we're talking? Pusha T album dropped today. He dropped a record called Infrared. So I guess what I should do right now is put the lyrics on the screen of what Pusha T said to Drake. Pusha said, the game's fucked up, niggas beats is banging, nigga, your hooks did it, the lyric pinning equal to Trump's winning, the bigger question is how the Russians did it, it was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin, alright, I'm gonna just stop there, let's go on down a little bit more, where now Pusha T directs his attention to Drake's young money mate Lil Wayne and, and, and Birdman, so in this, th this same infrared record, he said, look, salute the Ross cause the message was poor, period. He see what I see when you see Wayne on tour. Flash without the fire. Another multi-platinum rapper trapped and can't retire. Niggas get exposed. I, exposed. I see the cracks and I'm the liar. Shit, I've been exposed. I took the crack and built the wire. Now, who do you admire? Your raps, songs is all trying my patience. Them prices ain't real without inflation. So Drake had to hear this record, right? So he hears Pusha T not only diss him and pusher was responding this is the first time he's really dropped a project since the two birds one stone disc where drake dissed pusher t and kid cuddy right so drake had to listen to pusher this not only him and but again drake don't play when niggas question his pen that's how meat got it not only did he hear that down in the record he had to hear pusher t come from the man who signed him lil wayne and the man behind lil wayne getting signed and Birdman, man and it's set Drake off in this scathing dumpy freestyle. I guess we should go bar for bar and read all this shit. Why not? So this is what Drake says to Pusha T. We gonna go back and assess the verse afterward. This video will be one for the ages. And by the way, heads up before I read this shit, you gotta know I believe that Drake heard Pusha T album before it dropped. There's no way you come up with this in a few hours. It's just too disrespectful. There are too many nuances. There are too many double entendres. So let's get into it. This is what Drake says on his diss to Pusha T called Duppy Freestyle. He says, so if you were, now let's, let's not even start there. The intro, right? He said, I'm in shock. The nerve, the audacity. Okay. And you can tell I'm kind of all over the place right now because this shit is fresh off the presses, right? Drake says, so if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of VSs, what do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? I've done things for him that I thought he would never need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I popped style for 30 hours, then let him repeat. Now you popping up with the jokes, I'm dead, I'm asleep. I just left from over by y'all putting pen to the sheets. Tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Keep getting temperature checks, they know that my head overheats. Don't know why the fuck you niggas listen to Denim or Steve. Must have had your infrared wrong, now your head on the beam. Y'all are the spitting image of whatever jealousy breeds. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. You're not even top five as far as your label talent goes. You send shots, well, I got to challenge those. 
but I bring calicos to the Alamo, I could never have a Virgil in my circle and hold him back because he make me nervous. I want to see my brothers flourish to their higher purpose. You niggas leeches and serpents. I think it's good that now the teachers are learning. Yeah, your brother said it was your cousin, then him, then you. So you don't rap what you did, you just rap what you knew. Don't be ashamed, there's plenty of niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart, you're an approachable dude. Man, you might have sold to the college kids for Nikes and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. I had a microphone of yours, but then the signature faded. I think that pretty much resembles what's been happening lately. Please believe your demise will be televised. Yep. Yeah. And as far as Q, man, I changed his life a couple times. Niggas was at Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. Sheesh. Yeah, who gassed you to play with me? Man, y'all made this shit as easy as ABCs. Whoever supposedly making me hits but then got no hits around like they need me. My hooks did it. My lyrics did it. My spirit did it. I'm fearless with it. Yeah, I really shouldn't have given you none of my time because you older than the nigga you running behind. Look, holla at me when you multi-million. I told you keep playing with my name and I'm going to let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I'm too resilient. Get out of your feelings. It's going to be a cruel summer for you. I told Weezy and Baby, I'm a to done for you. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you, considering that we just sold another 20 for you. Sheesh, Louise. What Drake be saying? Sheesh. Listen, man, you're probably watching this video or listening to this video like, where in the hell is he going to take this video from here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm winging this video. Listen, I don't fucking know. Let's just run through some of these bars. First off, I got to get this off my chest. Did Kanye West get some bars as well? Yes. No, no, let's make that clear. Ye got some bars too because of his relationship with Pusha T. You know what I think it is with, with Kanye West and Pusha T that pissed Drake off with Ye? I think it's the fact that Ye produced this whole album and I think Drake and Ye, they had some issues a, a few months ago, right? I think Drake and Ye have, have kind of resolved their issues that had, and I'm sure they've been talking recently. If, if I'm not mistaken, that's some under the table shit that I'm telling y'all. I think they've been discussing like doing a, a project together or something lately. And Drake, matter of fact, Drake's been out there in Wyoming where, where Ye's been working. So Drake's looking at this like a slap in the face, like, yo, damn, your homie got bars for me? You produced this shit? Now, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, Ye can't control Pusha's pen. He works for him, right? He works for Ye technically. And Pusha, we got to put some respect on Pusha's name. He's the president at Good Music. I don't even want to say works for him like he's just an employee employee. Now, that nigga gets paid pretty well to be over there with, with Ye now, right? But I think Drake's like, you've been. I've been talking to Ye. I've been in and out of your studio working with you. They probably got some records cooking up. He like, yo, this nigga? This me? And you knew this was going to happen and you ain't warned me? I think that puts Ye in a very tough situation. But if you read the first few lines, Drake is making reference. I mean, literally making reference to some bars that he's saying he didn't gave Ye over the last couple years. He's saying, look, push it. You dissing me for getting help with some lyrics. And by the way, Drake's kind of admitting that Q, Quinn Miller helped him on a verse or two, right? He said, look, father had to stretch his hands out. That was on Ye's last album and get it from me. I pop style. I'm guessing Drake is saying he wrote Ye's verse on pop style. Right, there was a remix to the pop style which had Kanye West on it and like two lines from Jay on it. I'm sh I'm guessing he's saying he helped write pop style. Then he, he Drake get into some fashion shit like halfway through, right? He's talking about Virgil and he's like, "Yo, you got scared to let Virgil um, in your circle and hold him. You you kind of held him back because he make you nervous." He brought up the infrared record specifically, which tells you this ain't no dish that's been looming for months. This is something that he's making in response. To push a T. There's just one some shit tucked in the chamber. He might have had a bar or two for Pusha already tucked somewhere. But a lot of this shit is recent. Like, yo, even when he addressed Pusha T, because a lot of people criticize Pusha T and his raps because they say, yo, you still rapping about drugs. You ain't sold drugs in a decade at least. Over that, right? He that, So a lot of people knock Pusha T for that. They're like, yo, you got to bring some more to the table than consistently talking about drug talk. talk. I think a lot of people are, are coining this album like an old head rap album for niggas who sold drugs back in the day. Drake addressed that shit. He was like, your brother said it's your cousin, then him, then you. So don't you rap about what you did. You just rap about what you knew. 
Don't be ashamed. There's plenty of niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart. You're an approachable dude. Man, you might have sold the drugs to the college kids for Nikes and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God damn, Drake. Sheesh Louise, he giving bars. And also, I'm going to do a whole video on what Drake said about Quinn Miller. I'm going to do a whole video for that. I think he deserves a whole video. But for those who don't know who the hell Virginia Williams is, I did a little research, ladies and gentlemen. Look, so let's go to this spot in the, in the record when Drake says, look, look, holla at me when you multi-million. I told you keep playing with my name and I'm going to let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I'm like, damn, that sounds cool, but who the hell is Virginia Virginia Williams? I went and searched Virginia Williams. That is Pusha T's fiance that he just got engaged to recently. I said, oh, damn. And she from Memphis, ladies and gentlemen. I said, oh, damn, 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 damn. He's saying, I'm going to let it ring on you. He's saying, do you remember when he said to Meek Mill, shout out all the boss bitches, wife and niggas? He's saying, Virginia Williams, wife push a T and put a ring on it. Oh, my goodness. This nigga Drake is a fool. Like, we could go on all day. There's so many little nuances. Yo, this dude is just mad disrespectful. Again, let's just put everything in perspective of what just happened. Pusha T releases an album at midnight Thursday night into Friday morning. This weekend, Pusha, I'm sure, is going to have album release party after album release party, after club appearance, after club appearance, press on top of press on top of press for the next week or two to promote this project. Do you realize the conversation is no longer about Pusha T's album? The whole conversation is about him dissing Drake. I'm sorry, Drake dissing him. The whole conversation. The whole conversation. There is no more talk about Pusha's album. You can't even enjoy the project. Everybody that walk up to him going to be like, bro, you all right? That, you good? You good? Everything cool? You going you gonna to respond to that? Like, we're talking about Drake on your weekend, your big day. And I'm sure Pusha T has something in the canon for Drake coming soon because he raps. He's got to respond to this because the, the amount of disrespect, like when Drake brought up his fiance, I knew it was personal. Like, I feel like Drake's a little more personal with Pusha than he is with me because Nicki Minaj was a, a public figure and I don't think he ever mentioned Nicki Minaj name specifically in the record to in either of the records to charged up the back to back to Meek. And I know he knows Nicki and all that, but for Drake to mention Virginia Williams, Pusha T's fiance, to me that's personal as it gets. Right. And we knew this beef wasn't something to it wasn't a playful beef. Like though it's all bars, Drake and Pusha T really don't like each other. Like Pusha T I, I gave y'all the video on Birdman earlier today. Like, yo, it's some real bad blood for you. Between Pusha and Lil Wayne, which now stems down to Pusha and, and Drake and Pusha and Birdman as well. He said, it's going to be a cruel summer for you. I thought it was interesting that Drake said, I told Weezy and Baby, I'm a dunham for you. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you, considering we just sold another 20 for you. Drake is saying, yo, Pusha, because I just dissed you, nigga, you're going to sell 20,000 more copies. That is as disrespectful an end to a diss record I've ever seen in my life. You want to know why? It's true, nigga. There's a lot of people I know in my generation and younger who are not going to listen to a fucking Pusha T album this weekend. A lot of old heads in the South that weren't going to listen to that shit this weekend. Because it's lyrical-based music with no trap beats for the most part, right? They're going to be listening to Pusha's diss to know what started this. What got Drake so riled up? Ladies and gentlemen... I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. Drake releases a crazy freestyle diss in the direction of Pusha T and to his boss Kanye by default. What do you guys think about this diss record in the comment section? I'm going to be active in my comment section listening to you guys. Y'all talk to me. Thank y'all for the time. Love and support. Don't take it for granted. This is hip hop, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all say what y'all want about the boy from the six. Every time it's time to get lyrical, and I got respect for Kendrick and Cole, and I know a lot of people have not sent energy in, in the direction of Kendrick and Cole in the years, and even Big Sean, y'all know I love Big Sean. I know a lot of people haven't dissed him over the years, but y'all say what y'all want about Drake. Every time somebody who Drake thinks is nice with the pen, he gives them bars back, and Drake could easily do the sunning thing, right, where he only responds to niggas that he could beat. In a rap battle, right? Or he could beat in in like a, in a record or niggas that he's clearly bigger than. He's responding to niggas like Meek, who we notoriously say can rap. Meek was a freestyle rapper. He responded to Meek, and he's responding to Pusha T. He responded to Kid Cudi, who can rap. 
He's giving Ye some bars. I think he's giving Jay. I think him and Jay go back and forth on some competitive shit from time to time. Give that nigga Drake his credit, bruh. Give that nigga his credit. He respond. Whether you like or love Drake personally, he responds with bars. He don't go do interviews like a lot of these niggas do. And then Pusha did interviews today talking about the shit. Drake ain't doing no fucking press. That nigga come back to y'all niggas. Y'all listen to whatever y'all got to say in the music. It's in the music, nigga. All my disses, you want to know where I'm at with it in life? It's in the music, nigga. I'm sure Pusha's going to respond and I'm waiting for it. Thank y'all for the time. Let's Don't take it for granted. He, Drake gives Pusha T 20,000 more in sales with a scathing diss record. Y'all grade this diss record for me. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!